Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Let's try that again without the uh, car in the background, shall we? Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. So I'm sorry it took me a little bit to sit down and do this full story time. I was going so like back and forth on whether or not I was gonna try and do Vlogmas. And I decided to attempt to do the 12 days of Vlogmas. So that's a video every other day up until Christmas Eve. And this is going to be the first video of Vlogmas. So welcome guys. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever new videos do come out. This is my vlog channel. My main channel is Monica Adriana. I'll have that linked down below in the description box. It is mainly a makeup, beauty, project pan, alternative, like black lipstick, dark makeup, goth kind of channel. So check it out if you're interested. But over here in the vlog channel, chunky boy, Rex sees me sitting on the couch and wants to play. But over here in the vlog channel, we do a little bit of everything. I show you guys working from home. I work from home five days a week. I do YouTube as a hobby. I talk about cooking. I talk about books. I talk about a little bit of everything. And in today's video, we're going to talk about our elopement story because I mentioned it a little briefly in the elopement vlog that I posted. If you missed that, of course, I'll throw it up in the cards. This is going to make a lot more sense if you watch the elopement vlog before this kind of chatty rumbly story time. Chatty rambly, not rumbly. Like it's Attack on Titan and this is the rumbling. No, it's rambling. <laughs> Can you tell I was, I'm still affected by the Attack on Titan finale? So anyway, this is going to be the full story time of our elopement story. So this is going to be a chatty, long story time. Feel free to speed this up, listen to it like a podcast, because I'm not really going to throw up too many photos or videos or anything. Everything was pretty much put in the previous actual elopement vlog. And today we're sitting on the couch because I never spend time here on the couch. I've got my buddy over here, Lord Deathman. He's got his Santa hat on, so he's ready for the holidays. But I still have my... Halloween decorations up because it stays Halloween until Thanksgiving and it is not Thanksgiving yet as I am filming this. So make sure you're comfy. Grab a snack, grab a drink. I've got my Diet Coke and let's talk about our elopement. I should close my windows. There are so many cars going by. All right, so this all goes back to January of this year, which this has been such a long year that January feels like it was three years ago. <laughs> but in January, we were supposed to go on our big trip of the year. Typically we will do like one vacation or one long trip a year. And in January, one of Alvin's cousins was getting married in Mexico. So it was a destination wedding. We decided to go a little bit early and stay a little bit late to make like a full vacation out of it. We were going to spend almost two weeks in Oaxaca, Mexico. We were going to explore, try all the food, all that fun stuff. But unfortunately, we flew out the day the FAA grounded all flights. There was that day in January where there was a system that went down that never goes down. And because that system was down, they had to ground every single flight in the entire country. And a ground stop like that has never happened since 9-11. So it was a big deal. And we ended up never making it to Mexico. We flew from Newark to Dallas. We got stuck in Dallas for 36 hours, slept on the floor of the airport, caught COVID, and then flew home. So long story short, I actually have a whole story time on that if you want to see it. I'll throw it up in the cards. Funny enough, that's where we started thinking about actually eloping this year. Because honestly, we weren't like super planning to get married until probably like early 2024, maybe even late 2024. But because that trip did not happen and we got refunds on the airfare, we had to pay. We lost a little bit of a deposit for the hotel, but most of the money we were going to spend there, we did not end up spending. And then we didn't take a trip for the beginning of the year. So we were thinking, well, you know, financially, we could work it out and we could have everything lined up because we had like a set of goals we wanted to hit before we got married and we had like 95 percent of them checked off so we were like we could realistically look at getting married this year so i would say like probably we were thinking about it in january <laughs> when we were like sick at home with covid we were throwing the idea back and forth but it wasn't really until i think like april may where we were looking at it and we were like we could we should like realistically look into details of getting married because what we wanted to do originally, our first original idea, we had to go through several iterations of this because of state laws, which are always fun. But really, we was we wanted to go to a courthouse and just have a courthouse ceremony and call it there, right? Well, everything is so different. And this is obviously going to be different from state to state and not only state to state, township to township. So our township, after COVID, no longer does civil ceremonies in town hall or in the courthouse. So, well, that's it because you can... Technically, in our state, you can only go to the courthouse where you reside. So either we would be going to our local courthouse, which no longer does ceremonies, or we'd have to go to the Newark courthouse, which 
sounds the least romantic <laughs> to me. It's where I got called to jury duty a couple of weeks ago. And it's also where Alvin constantly has to go. His He deals with all of the like legal sides of his family business. So he's constantly in and out of the court dealing with different things for the family business, right? So I didn't want, like, I wanted a courthouse wedding, but I didn't want to go to the Newark courthouse. <laughs> that makes sense. So we were tossing the idea back and forth. And we, once we found out that we couldn't just do a courthouse wedding, we were like, okay, well, let's actually like, make an elopement out of it. Because before then, we weren't even thinking about traveling anywhere or doing it. So it wasn't until I want to say May that we started looking into options for actual like elopement packages. And I will say, I looked at a couple of different options, the South Jersey wedding pros, I will have all of their information up here, were incredible. They literally went above and beyond. And I'll talk about them more later on when we get to that part. But I found their website, they do big weddings, they do small weddings, they do elopements, and they even had a picnic elopement package. And that's what sold me because the picnics looked beautiful and they set everything up and they do the wedding and they bring witnesses. So you, you don't even have to bring witnesses. It's a true blue elopement. They had everything all together and they had photography in the package too because it's a beautiful husband and wife team and the husband's the officiant and the wife does photography. So it literally had everything we needed all in one package. And all we had to do was kind of get down to South Jersey and pay for a hotel right? So we choose that package. And when I think when we booked, it was like early summer. And this is where I'm completely naive. I didn't realize that October was so popular for weddings. I, I thought wedding season was like May and like April, May, June. But no, October is like the busiest month for weddings. And I did not know that because October is my favorite month. And it's my favorite month because I love fall. I love Halloween. And my entire house is all spooky stuff. We're always... Basically, it's Halloween year round in this house. And our anniversary was already in October. So we knew we wanted to get married in October, but I didn't realize how busy it was going to be. So they worked with us so nicely. We reached out and we wanted to do the picnic elopement. They actually suggested a town and we went to Birch Grove Park. I think I'm, I keep messing up the name. Every time I say it, I say it wrong. But it was this park that they recommended because they said that they've really been wanting to shoot a wedding there and they hadn't been able to get a chance to. And it was right outside of Atlantic City and we were going to stay in Atlantic City for the honeymoon. So they suggested that park. Uh, I originally wanted Friday the 13th because it was Friday the 13th. It was in October. It was a special day for us. I was like, oh, that would have been perfect. But they were already booked that Friday. So I was like, okay, no problem. We did it the next day. So the 14th, that Saturday. So we booked everything. We paid our deposits up, up until like the week before we were good. We had all of our deposits paid. We booked the hotel. I made reservations at every single Gordon Ramsay restaurant. And it was just like getting excited, right? But Here's where the bochinche starts. So my cousin works um, in a part of the Small Business Administration. He helps small businesses recover from disaster. So he's actually been stationed in Maui since the wildfires. He's been helping the small businesses there. He's been training people. He's been working with them. So he's been stationed in Hawaii for work. And because of that, he's got his hotel kind of covered. And so family were going to visit him so that they, they could do Hawaii for pretty cheap, right? Because he's been there for a few months now and the family was super excited. Now, I'm not the kind of person who likes beaches anymore. I'd rather go to a cabin in the mountains. But like his parents went, I think some other family went and my uncle was very gung-ho about getting my grandmother to go. Now, this would not have been a problem any other time except for this timing because <laughs> she was the only one who knew about our elopement. We kept the entire family in the dark except for my grandmother, because we needed one witness to go with us to town hall to apply for our marriage license. That wasn't the wedding. It was just applying for the license. And then we take the license with us to the elopement. And that's what gets us legally married. So she was the only one who knew. She was also the one who volunteered to watch Rex for us. The thing with this timing is that my uncle was trying to convince her to fly to Hawaii the week before we left and come back the day we were supposed to leave. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have an anxiety disorder. I actually just recently started getting medicated for it, <laughs> but I have an anxiety disorder. I prep and plan for every possible outcome and that just, it made me so anxious because I was like, something's gonna go wrong. Something's gonna go wrong and she's not gonna come back in time and it's gonna throw everything off. And you'll see just how much it would have thrown stuff off. They're basically, the family was like, no, it's a once in a lifetime thing. She's gotta go to Hawaii. She's gonna have so much fun. And I didn't wanna feel like the 
the Debbie Downer to tell her you can't go to Hawaii. I was like, yeah, go to Hawaii, enjoy it, but maybe give more than two hours of leeway between when you get back and when we're supposed to leave. Because as we will soon find out, issues happened. So she flies to Hawaii the week before, and you'll see this in the vlog. It ended up that on her flight back, her flight was delayed and then canceled. So she got stuck in Seattle overnight, the same way we got stuck in Texas earlier this year. And it threw everything off because she was supposed to watch Rex for us. That's so th essentially Thursday was the day she was supposed to come back and we were supposed to drop Rex off and we leave and we have to be down in Atlantic City and check into our hotel Thursday night. Um, because we were supposed to like do prep shots and do preparations on Friday and then get married on Saturday, right? Well, as you'll soon find out, we actually ended up getting married that Friday. So we had to get down that Thursday. If we did not get down that Thursday, nothing else of this plan would have worked. So she, grandma gave me her flight number and I was checking like that morning. I was like, cause I was off work. So I was just doing nothing but packing and checking the flight status. And I saw the flight get canceled and I was like, huh, hmm. You know that feeling when like what you said was going to happen happened and you're like, part of you is happy because you're fucking right. But then the other part of you was pissed because God, nobody listened. <laughs> and so nobody prepped for it. Anyway, so her flight got canceled. She got stuck in Seattle overnight. And the only other people who knew were my aunt and uncle and some cousins. And so we actually ended up having to tell them the, about it, the elopement ahead of time because like they're I love them, they're family, but... I feel like they were trying to make it seem like it wasn't a big thing, you know? They were like, oh, you guys are just going down to the shore. She'll be home. You guys can just leave a few hours later or even the next day. Like, trying to downplay it. Um, but like I said, we had to get down there that day. And Rex is an old dog. We didn't want to just drop him off at the house because that's what Grandma was saying. She basically said, you have a key. Just drop him off inside the house. But... She ha at that point, we had no idea when she was getting home. We didn't know if she was going to be home in 12 hours. We didn't know if, if she was going to have another canceled flight and be stuck another day in Seattle. So we were not going to drop Rex off in a house by himself, not knowing when she was going to get home. So we ended up having to tell my aunt and uncle that, hey, we're getting married in like two days. We need to get down there tonight and we need someone to stay with Rex until grandma gets home. Only then did they actually take us seriously. And that's when I was like having a panic attack and I was crying and I was like, oh, I got a little too in into my feels. Um, but then they, they came through. They were like, oh, shit. I think they kind of had that oh shit moment where they, I think it then clicked for them why grandma was so hesitant about going and while I was so anxious about the dates and everything. So anyway, long story short, they come together and my cousin actually stays at my grandma's house during the day and watches Rex the whole day because she only had night classes. She's getting her master's right now, but she only had night classes. So she, she stayed with Rex all day. And thankfully, right before she had to leave for her night class, my grandma got home. So then she could spend the time with Rex. But that was so stressful because <laughs> we had all these deposits on the line. And this is even before we knew the wedding was actually going to take place on Friday and not Saturday. So let's let's get into that. So Rex is taken care of. We drive down. It's not that bad of a drive. It's like two and a half hours to get to Atlantic City from where we are. And we check into our hotel. It's a, it's a decent, it's not the best hotel down there, but it has two of the three Gordon Ramsays in it. And we wanted to go to that hotel. So we're staying at Caesars and we kind of just unpack a little bit, relax, go to sleep, sleep in. The next day, Friday the 13th, we are looking at the weather for the next day and they're calling for thunderstorms on Saturday. And I want to say this is around 1130 or 12 on Friday. And we're just, I start wondering, okay, do we have a rain plan or a rain check? Because we're supposed to do an outdoor ceremony. And if it's going to thunderstorm, we can't do it outdoors, right? So it's not even just like a little sprinkle for the photos, no, it's the thunderstorms. So we reach out via the wedding portal to the uh, wedding planners and they're like well, how would you feel about pushing it up to today and I just look I like look and I realize okay you mean like in four hours I'm in my robe not even showered not even washed my hair and we're gonna get married in like five hours I had that moment where I was so stressed I became calm <laughs> 
<laughs> it was so funny. But yeah, so we texted back and forth and they were like, yeah, we had both of our, they had two bookings for Friday the 13th. They both canceled. And so they said, hey, we can move you guys up to this afternoon. We will do golden hour on the day that you originally wanted. And so we can still have it outside and you don't get your day ruined by the thunderstorms the next day. And I was like, we're doing this. We are doing this. I took the quickest shower. I washed my hair. I blow dried my hair. I did my makeup. I did my nails. I, was, I had no nails on. I did my nails all in like four hours. That is the quickest. I got so ready for my wedding. And I was like, part of me was like a little sad because I really wanted to savor the getting ready portion of it. But just with the timing and everything, I didn't get to like savor it as much. We still cracked open some nice drinks. I did my makeup. I got some footage for the vlog and also for my main channel, but it was definitely <laughs> a lot more stressful than I thought it was gonna be. And it was so funny. We were so like, uh, I don't wanna say anxious. We were excited, but just because of everything that had happened and how we had pushed it up a day, like even driving over, we were a little anxious. Like we made this whole wedding playlist for uh, when we were gonna drive over to the park. We didn't even listen to it. <laughs> we were so stressed. <laughs> so we get there and I'll throw some pictures up from the wedding. It came out beautiful. It was golden hour. It was, f all right, I have no idea where that cut off because my battery died, but let's restart. Ah, oh, yeah, so we, we finally made it to the park. We looked very, very cute. And honestly, I was stressing out so much, but I said, you know what, we're getting professional photography done. If my makeup, if I mess something up or if I don't look as great, we'll just Photoshop it. <laughs> That's what got me through. But we looked really good and we had a beautiful ceremony. Like, I swear, like the South Jersey wedding pros, they literally moved like the high heavens to get everything set up and the table. Look at the, the picnic was beautiful and they even added extra pumpkin accents because it was Friday the 13th and everything just worked out so beautifully. Like all of the stress up until that point was like 100% worth it because we had literally the exact elopement of our dreams. And then we had the beautiful picnic together at sunset. And I'm so glad we did the photos too, because I'm like super self-conscious. So I was like going back and forth about whether or not to get photos done, but I'm so glad we did because they look adorable and it all worked out. So we got our dream date in the end. We had a beautiful ceremony. We both cried, like teared up a little bit during the vows and it was exactly what we wanted it to be. And I could not be happier with it. And then for the next week, we got to just eat all the food. We went to every Gordon Ramsay restaurant. We enjoyed just hanging out at the shore and sleeping in every day. That was probably the best part. <laughs> just getting to sleep in every day. It was great, but it all worked out. So that's the story of our elopement. It was a little stressful, <laughs> but it's a great story now. Now that it's all kind of behind us, it's it's a great story. So I think we're gonna call it here for this story time. I have a chunky baby who is currently staring at me, waiting for me to play with him. So I'm gonna go play with him and get started on planning and filming for the rest of Vlogmas. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos do come out. Let me know down below if you have any other questions or have you guys eloped? Have you had a big wedding? Have you had a small wedding? Are you engaged? Let me know all your stories down below. Thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Look at this chunky baby. You wanna play with the ghosty? Bring me the ghosty. Yeah, bring me ghosty. Nope, I can't reach that. Good boy. <laughs> also, this was the filming setup. I had you guys on top of this gigantic Ulta box <laughs> on a tray table in front of the couch.